I fuck that kid up, dude. Hey, hey. Hey, it's hack. Oh my Yo, you're god, hacking. I saw that. Oh, he's still there. What's going on guys it's your boy Rhea, and this is my final phase five submission video so as you guys can tell from the clips in the beginning of this video i enjoy sniping that's no doubt uh, i went for this phase five recruitment challenge six years ago and i got one clip <laughs> one quad feed on call of duty ghost was my clip however that didn't that, that didn't stop me from entering in since then uh, i've kind of just become the person i am and i've just accepted the fact that you know, instead of trying to be a part of something, I just need to create something. Uh, I've built this entire Reups Army community, and it's been an amazing ride. But I wanted to get down to the structure of what FaZe had actually asked us to do, and that was to answer some questions. So question number one was, what are you passionate about? Uh, to answer that question lightly, honestly, <laughs> I'm passionate about human beings. I'm passionate about making people smile and seeing people win. I'm passionate about inspiring people. And a big example of that is just inspiring like my kids. And as you guys can see from my last uh, phase five response video, I'm passionate about just seeing people do well and just kind of building people up. That's what I'm passionate about. And I'm passionate about people seeing that no matter what, no matter where you came from, no matter what gutter you arose from, you can still make anything and the only person that's ever going to stop you from making it somewhere is yourself and that right there is the phase up mentality that is the phase up that is the reason why phase up exists these guys they built up the the, the phrase phase up from the ground they were just you know started off as kids at home playing video games and just trying to make something different uh the second question is who and what currently inspires you I'm trying to prove people wrong i remember growing up as a kid and one of my teachers telling me that i'm not going to amount to shit. i'm going to end up just like my parents and i didn't want to end up like that and i didn't want to be the person that sat there and laid down and took every bad thing that happened to me and kind of just let that hold me down i always wanted to prove myself to other people like i am better i can do better i will do better and i'm going to do better and that mentality has changed my life i'm telling you if honestly if i didn't truly believe that i wouldn't say it honestly at the end of the day that has literally changed my entire life um who inspires me who inspires me would be my family my family inspires me to do everything that I'm doing now. Uh, they back me up. And if they're willing to back me up, my family, my blood is willing to back me up, then, you know, and have my back on everything, then, I don't know, I feel like I could conquer the world, you know? Like, I feel like that's just, that's just the dream, you know? The dream is to conquer the world, I guess. My first ever video that I uploaded to YouTube was January of 2013 which was seven years ago and the inspiration came from KYR Speedy and the crew and his Ninja Diffuse montages I I used to watch those videos and I'd be like man I'm like this every day with my boys I'm like this every day you know we goof around and have a good time and I just don't see why I can't be a part of this so I started uploading Ninja Diffuse montages now please Stay the hell away from my YouTube channel because those videos are trash. <laughs> they are trash. They're still there, but they are trash. I came across Faze just shortly after that. I came across Jev. Jev was just like me. Rage at every freaking Call of Duty. Rage at every situation. Could never hit any clips. I love you, by the way. Could never hit any clips. But tried his ass off. And he tried and tried and tried and tried and tried. And he just never gave up. And it was dope. And then um, I remember watching Adapt from uh 
I believe it was Arizona and how he was so inspired to be a part of phase and how he just wanted to be a part of phase really bad. And then when he finally became part of it and then he moved from there to New York, it was just like, yo, these guys are doing it, man. I could do this. You know, I can do this. I know I can do this and I've literally done it now. So yeah, anyways, family and phase has inspired me. And one last thing I do have to mention is phase dirty, man. Phase dirty. Two years ago, I met him. And I've known about FaZe for a really long time, obviously. But because my because of my position when I was in in uh, a mixer, um, I had the luxury of being able to go to PAX, finally. And I met FaZe Dirty at... I met FaZe Dirty and Thieves at um, PAX East at a full screen party. And just how down to earth those dudes were. I couldn't believe it. Like I felt like I was standing in front of celebrities, but they made me feel like a brother. They made me feel like a homie. You know what I mean? I felt like a family and I'm like, bro, this is where I need to be. This is where I need to be hundred percent. I was intimidated before, but now I'm passionate. I'm hungry for it. How long have I been creating content online? Well, as I said, I uploaded my first ever YouTube video, um, back in 2013, which is seven years ago. Um, however, because I'm a full-time, uh, full-time dad, full-time husband, and I try to stream as much as possible, I find that it's really, really hard for me to, to upload, you know, content to, to YouTube, to edit it. In terms of streaming, I've been streaming for three plus years. I was streaming on Mixer for two and a half years before they shut down. And after they shut down, I was kind of torn up a little bit. I was almost kind of gave up, but you know, my wife and my kids and my, my community, they came up to me and you know, they were just like. You cannot give up. You've come so far. You have a huge community behind you. You need to just, you know, put your head down and grind, grind, grind. And I did. And, you know, here we are. We're trying out for phase five in 2020. And it's just, you know, it's just an opportunity that uh, I'm happy to have again. What are your talents you're most proud of or excited to share? My talents, honestly, is, and this isn't like a weird flex, but my talent is really just my, my ability to be a leader. You know, it's something that you don't really find in people, you know, typically, and, and, and it's not really calling out people, but it's just being aware. Like I said, I mean, instead of giving up, I always was just like, screw that. I'm going to make this, I'm going to do this and I'm going to get this done. And, you know, I, I, my, my strong suit as a human being is I have the ability to inspire people to want to be the best of themselves every day and you know there's tons of people who can attest to that tons of people in my community who have messaged me and told me how i've changed their life and how they started they went away from doing what they were doing and following their dreams and they became a welder they went back to school um or i've gotten them out of a really really dark place and like that's what i really kind of focus my community on is positivity and just being real like i'm always real and Another talent that I would say I have is my versatility in the content industry. Um, you know, this, this, this screen back here, I made that, um, you know, I've been following phase clan for so long that, you know, when they first came out with their first intro that had, that was in cinema 4d, believe me, I was watching phase ninjas, uh, what is it like two hour long tutorial on cinema 4d went and grinded up the money saved the money to buy the program and i was like bro i gotta do this man this is this is this is it you know this is this is a good talent to have one of my proudest moments uh in my time of like streaming is just making partner on mixer how I, I got partnered like what was it a week before my birthday and then i went to pax east and then that's what I met, like all these crazy, like internet celebrities. And it was, it was super dope. Like I felt like I was entering in the realm of like things that were going to be normal for me. And I felt like an outsider. And because I became partner, I felt more in tune with everything. If that makes sense. I felt like I actually belong there and I was, I got my foot in the door. Um, but then I would have to say some of my other proud moments like my kids uh coming home and they they telling me that their their friends 
uh, didn't think that I was famous. And then they showed them my mixer page with 33,000 followers and stuff like that. And as a dad to hear your kid think that you're famous and stuff like that, that's super like, I mean, until you're there, until you're there, you don't know, but that that's one of my proudest moments. And the, the most important question, why do you want to join face clan? As I said before, in my last video, I want to be part of something bigger and broader, right? I want to help build something. Uh, when I was a mixer, I wanted to build that platform, even though everything pointed against it, even though nothing showed any sort of growth, I still was grinding to beat it and just try to, to build it, you know, to make it something, right? Phase is already there, but I want to help take it to the next level. What else can we do with phase to bring it to the next level? To make sure that in the next 10 years, we have something else to celebrate about, you know, when it comes to the gaming and streaming industry. Um, I'm passionate about it. I'm passionate about games and video games and stuff like that. And I see the brotherhood that phase has, and I really want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of the movement that phase up phase up mentality i want to inspire people to follow their dreams and work really hard and then show them that no matter what you can still make it it does not matter where you come from it does not matter where you come from it doesn't matter how old you are bust your ass and you can get it done at the end of the day i feel like i really belong in phase and I would be extremely, extremely happy to see my name in those top 100 people. And it's going to be up to you as the community and you as the FaZe members to vote for FaZe Real. Love y'all.